and welcome to our Zoran tour part one. What I wanted to show you today is a very special tour of our Zoran history and our Zoran museum here in our Zoran offices at in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I'll say Zoran by a zillion more times. Don't worry. So this is something that we do whenever we have guests come in and we show them where we started and where we're, where we're going. Uh, and it's a very exciting way for um, new employees, potential business partners, and even our customers and potential customers to learn about Zoran and to feel like they're part of the Zoran family and they're enjoying something very exciting, innovative, and special. So what I want to start with here is our head CT in a box. This is where the magic all started, and it may not look like much, but it was very exciting. So Zoran was founded over 20 years ago, and we started out of, uh, through researchers at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. And the concept of our early scientists was to come up with a way to just scan the head, and this was what we were doing is uh, this, is a, this, is, this is the CT system, the prototype that would soon become our future products. We were also founded early on by grants from the National Institutes of Health, and we really appreciated all of their um, assistance with us getting our start as a medical device company, um, uh, we say back in the day. So with this CT, cone beam CT system, we had our original software architect, Misha Rackick, who today is Zoran's CEO, logging in remotely to this box here in Ann Arbor uh, to help develop and design the uh, Zoran CAT software that we have today. So it kind of really provides this throughput of uh, history that we have right here in our offices. Um, this right here is our DentoCAT, which soon became our iCAT, which is our first um, prototype system for dental applications. And if you know anything about uh, dental CBCT today, uh, it is all over. All, there are so many dentists and so many uh, cone beam CT systems in dental offices. And um, we developed and further refined this prototype um, uh, scanner um, to become the iCAT, where we had a mini exit, also uh, about 15 years ago. And then at that point in time, Zoran had to decide wh where we were going to make our uh, primary market focus. And we decided to focus on the ear, nose, and throat, or otolaryngology and allergy space market here in the United States. And so we had this, uh, this is our first um, mini cat. This is actually the mini cat that we sold to our uh, wonderful partners at Sacramento ENT. At one of our first trade shows that we attended, which was the AAOHNS, American Academy of Otolaryngology, Head and Neck Surgery, we uh, met uh, Jeff Dudley and some of his doctors who were his, uh, you know, his, his partners at Sacramento ENT, and they immediately understood the value of having a small upright CT scanner directly in their office so that they could scan their patients right there during the initial exam. Um, it was such a game changer and such and, and so um, exciting and powerful that uh, uh, they were our first customers. And then when they swapped out um, their scanner after you know, a number of years, it is a workhorse and it does work for a very, very long time. In fact, we have devices from the early 2000s still in use today. Um, we brought it back here and we had all of our um, doctors, um, Nancy Appleblad and, and uh, Dr. Uh, McKinnon, Dr. Evans, I can't read everybody's handwriting here, um, sign our scanner. And uh, we're so gratified to be able to have that here. And just for fun, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you can sit in the device. It's very open and upright, does not feel like you're claustrophobic at all. I put my head up against this carbon fiber head support, and in, in real in real clinical terms, you would be strapping my head in place so that you have very minimal patient movement. Um, and today, you don't see this gunmetal gray anymore. We've gone with a more medical clean look of a, of a white um, uh, scanner, and um, uh, yet we have always maintained 
uh, our, Alara, our Alara principle of developing products that have as low as reasonably achievable radiation dose to the patient. And so this means not only can you get your scan with your specialist in his or her office, but you're exposed to a very low radiation dose for that sinus or temporal bone skin. And we're back here with a newer prototype system that we developed. We were trying to streamline our uh, design of our mini cat. And we eventually decided to stick with uh, this upright design, but just to make it um, more uh, of a white color where we could um, fit in better with the clean look of our ENT and allergy offices. One of the progressions of this technology was our surgeon started to ask us, well, when I'm in the OR, my patient is laying down and I would love to be able to image my patients during surgery. And so we uh, created this um, prototype um, CT on a cart, uh, also again out of the University of Michigan, um, working with our students to kind of look about what that would look like. And again, it's a, it's a very small gantry. I mean, it's a very small opening here and we have this gantry. Um, and then we further develop that into what we have today as our XCAT. Um, and XCAT, this is an early uh, version of the XCAT, and I will show you in a later video our latest version of XCAT, which has an onboarded um, monitor and keyboard. But this design is truly mobile, easy to move. As you can see, the wheels here weighs less than 500 pounds. I think something like 472 off the top of my head. Um, and we also um, made it so that when you're standing at the operator's console, it is self-shielded. The operator is shielded against radiation dose that's happening uh, to the patient who's laying down. And what we found early on was this uh, system had great um, use and impact intraoperatively for head imaging. Um, this meant that our doctors could get real-time scans in the OR and verify the, their completeness of their surgery, um, verify um, lead placement or mesh placement in various different uh, clinical applications for the head. And we are super excited to be bringing this out into the marketplace, not only with bone window imaging, but also with soft tissue uh, uh, imaging that's capable of um, uh, imaging of the brain. Next, in our next video, I will show you what our um, XCAT looks like today and show you how easy, uh, how truly mobile it is, even with you know, wearing, um, you know, heels and not in sneakers. And so looking forward to speaking to you again. This is our little Zoran uh, history and tour, and we're looking forward to talking to you next time.